Hey everybody, it's Scott Simcoe Spring Service and today I am working on a very weird spring. I don't know what kind of vehicle it's out of, other than the fact that it came out of this little trailer here. So I took it apart to put extra leaves in it and I found a cracked main leaf. Now it won't show up on camera so I highlighted it with some whiteout. So we're just going to take this blank piece of leaf spring and we're going to roll an eye on this end. We'll cut it to length, drill a hole in it, and we'll roll an eye on this end. So a couple people were interested in how this machine works. There's actually a hole here that takes our dies, and this is a two inch die for this particular spring that we're working on. And this swing arm locks it into position, and there's actually a locking mechanism that prevents it from popping up. So you can pull this back, and it's spring loaded, which is kind of cool. So if you look on this side, there's an adjustment set screw that will adjust this plate in and out to determine the spacing in between the plate and the roller here. So you adjust that to your material thickness. And on this side here, we have an arm here that will clamp onto the material and then I can swing this whole arm around and that's what actually rolls the eye. And it's adjustable as well with the handle here. So you can actually roll this in. It's all threaded in here. So you can actually roll this in and out and that will adjust the teeth in here to determine the gap also in this area so that when I open it up and grab a hold of the piece of material, it's set to the right depth. And that's it. Just grab a hold of it, pinch it, and then roll it around. So it was actually made by the Katowski Manufacturing Company. It's an eye bender. It was made in the United States, and it was made in St. Cloud, Minnesota. If you guys know anything about this, I would like to hear it back down in the description down below, because this is the only one I've ever seen. And he's the only one I ever know about. And I believe it was made in the 1950s. But I would love to know any kind of information about the, quote, Katowski Manufacturing Company. Test run or no? Yeah, I guess we should do a test run. Glad you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Did it come my way? Right there. I think it was good. Okay. Thank you. There you go, that looks good to me. Sweet. Like little fireballs. Yeah. Okay, so now we got this leaf here, and it's not arched. So what you can see is the eyes don't line up. The middle kind of sort of does a little bit. So if you actually follow this right here, it's hard to see, but right about here it starts gapping out, so that's why I'm gonna start arching it. I'm gonna start curving it here and get that eye to line up. 
Then we'll line our center pins up, drill them, re-arch the back end so that it should all match. And it'll be a duplicated leaf. There we go, a couple of key presses in the right spot. And she is now lined up pretty darn good. This bushing is 15 sixteenths. I don't have a 15 sixteenths die. So I'm gonna roll a little loose and then I'm gonna tighten it up once we get it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can do this. Thank <laughs> you. 